Seven U.S. states forged the Colorado River Compact of 1922 to govern the distribution of Colorado River water amongst themselves. For years, all was well, but a decade-long drought has caused water levels in Lake Powell, a major reservoir for the basin states, to drop dramatically, threatening the region's water supply. How will the drought affect the economy of the basin? With less water, can the states meet their power needs? And what can be done to help? These are the issues more than 2,500 high school students tackled when they competed for $100,000 in scholarship prizes in the Moody's Mega Math Challenge. I think one of the great things about this competition is you get a problem and you look at it and it might not have been something you thought would have applied to math. And you know, this year is about Lake Powell and the different economic impacts and it really teaches you that anything can be quantified. There was an opposite or inverse relationship between price and quantity for shift and there's a direct relationship between price and quantity for movement along the curve. The M3 Challenge is organized by the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics and funded by the Moody's Foundation. One of the things about the competition that sets us apart from other competitions is it's not just about being quick with computational ability. You need to be able to apply the skills to the real world. Previous challenges have included problems related to energy independence, the economic stimulus package, and the U.S. Census. Last year kind of threw us a curveball with the census. Uh, we weren't expecting that either, but this year we were expecting like a big global issue, and it turns out to be um, a dam in Colorado. The annual competition is entirely internet-based, and there are no fees to participate. On the challenge weekend in March, teams see the problem for the first time when they download it from the web. They then have just 14 hours to put together a detailed solution paper and upload it back to the contest website. Working for the 14 hours, I mean, it was a very long day, but it was definitely a great learning experience, learning about how to work with everyone and sustain motivation throughout the whole day. Well, we definitely each had our uh, certain strengths. Uh, for example, there are those that were stronger with math and statistics, and they took up the bulk of the mathematical modeling, while some of us were stronger in terms of organizing and writing the paper. We separated the problem based on who was interested in what part of it. So two of us were interested in computer programming and did that part. Two of us really loved research and did that portion. And it really worked out really well, very natural division. We really went into depth with the, you know, the physical aspects of the lake and you know, using physics and using the characteristics of the lake to model everything. After the submissions are received, panels of professional mathematicians spend several weeks evaluating hundreds of entries, eventually selecting just six of the teams to present their papers at the competition finals in New York. It was very, very exciting because before we had only made an honorable mention round, and so once we heard this, it was great. I'm really excited. It's, it's really cool. It just shows that um, there are a lot of talented kids out, all over the country. Congratulations. Your team solution has been judged to be among the top 1% of the 565 papers that were submitted. Over 29 million people and 4.5 million acres of land rely on water from the river each day. To stop this potential crisis, what we need to do is increase inflow to Lake Powell and decrease outflow from Lake Powell. But how do we do this? This equation models the power production at the Glen Canyon Dam fed by Lake Powell. The evaporation rate vary too widely in order to be held constant, and so we decided to create a model for it. Top acreage projections for all three states decreases 40, 42, and 74.5 percent respectively. So in the first part of our model, we had three main aspects again, the inflow, the outflow, and the evaporation and seepage. I think that it's, it's wonderful that students get exposed to the complexity of problems and how mathematical analysis can lead to interesting conclusions. Our Moody's Mega Math Challenge champions for 2011, Pineview School, Team 481 from Osprey, Florida. The goal is to spotlight applied mathematics as a powerful problem-solving tool, a vital contributor to society, and as a viable and exciting profession. It's an application problem, it's not just a single math problem. It was really interesting and it felt more like a real world type of problem. So we could go a lot more in depth and I thought it was very interesting. It teaches a lot about teamwork, you split up the task based on what you know, and more importantly, it's a lot about trying to understand mathematics and how you can apply it to the real world. If you've got a great team, don't be afraid. You've got a really good chance. We were coming in first year that we'd done it, and look, we did pretty well. <laughs>